here we are, another day, another life. Um, so I wanted to come on here. I'm actually gonna, I'm excited for this live. It's gonna be a good live. Um, so the full moon and Scorpio energies, I feel have been like foam blown for me, uh, starting from yesterday, moving on to today. Lots of um, major realizations, which is good. And yeah, just going through the, sorry, going through the cycles um, of honoring my emotions right now. And so I've been definitely very up and down from like bitterness to sadness to all the things. And it hasn't been fun. I'm not going to lie, but a lot of contemplation in that, which has opened up a space to allow what was meant to come in for the realization of why am I getting tr triggered? Cause I'm getting triggered like bananas. And, um, it was like something I thought I already had worked through and apparently not. Um, <laughs> but it's not a bad thing that it is surfacing up so that it can get released. And Scorpio is all about death and rebirth. So it is basically like things that may be coming up in your life right now are, um, themes that, are surfacing up to be released and get curious about your emotions get curious about your triggers what are they trying to show you and so if you are getting triggered and you're not sure what this full moon in scorpio if you're feeling off and you don't know what's going on why are you feeling what you're feel hot like feeling or what is this full moon in scorpio trying to show you um i decided i'm going to talk to you i'm going to do a two-part series so Today we're going to talk about the astrology houses and so you can like save this video and whenever there's another full moon or a new moon you can refer to it and look at the themes of that um, astrology sign and your chart of how it impacts you with these houses. So um, there are 12 astrology houses and basically I'm going to just flip over my camera. Let me see, where do I flip it over? Ah, there. Okay, so this is like my chart. Um, To get your birth chart, you can go to, um, well, it just, oops, sorry, astroseek.com. And when you're here, let me see if I could just do something for a second. Just take the, f why? Ah, that's what I want to do. Okay. Okay. So when you're in AstroSeek, you go to free calculation, birth natal chart, online talk calculator. And then you'll get something that looks like this. So these numbers here are your astrology houses. And this is uh, what um, sign each of the houses are in. And so we are in Scorpio. So my Scorpio is between the eighth house and the seventh it's mostly a seventh but it still taps a little bit of the eight um so when you're looking at your chart you want to go and look at where the um where scorpio lands in your chart because this is the scorpio moon and tomorrow we're going to actually talk about the meanings of the planets so today we're just going to look at the houses which is these numbers here um okay Oops, that was not okay. So I'm gonna talk about each house. Uh, so basically, like my my Scorpio is like under my it's like mostly my seventh, uh, and that's where some of the planets are. So I'm feeling a lot of those themes, um, but it is also like maybe part of the eighth as well. I don't feel like the eight has come up, but like maybe a little bit, but not fully. Um, so I'm going to go through each of the house. So if Scorpio is under your first house, um, so the first house is the house of self. So this is all about who you are and how you present yourself to the world. So it could be from anywhere, physical appearances, um, to traits and characteristics of who you are. So if you're, one of the themes that may be coming up is like, you know, maybe some old limiting beliefs around, you know, your physical appearance or some old wounds coming up around that or how you show up in the world, how you like 
who you are, your sense of self. And so check in and see if those are certain themes that come are coming up for you. If Scorpio is under your second house, so this one is the house of values and where we are talking about materialistic possessions, um, money, uh, so and your uh, sense of self-worth. So if you are feeling that right now, there are a lot of themes that you're like second guessing of like whether you are worthy or not, or maybe there are certain um, triggers that you're getting around money. Um, maybe money is triggering you in some way, whether you feel like you don't have enough or you have too much, or that if you have, you don't feel like you should have this amount, like that you know what are what are the current like money stories what what is your money relationship and they can this can also be like materialistic possessions so if there's any uh possessions you currently have that you feel like you're not worthy of like why are those themes coming up for you and get curious about them because you n there was nowhere along the lines of like whether uh somebody like what, what am I trying to say? So there was nowhere in any time frame that you were born unworthy. Everybody was born worthy. Everybody is worthy. And so if you have those feelings of unworthiness, especially when it comes to like uh, materialistic possessions, tap into that. See what's there. Um, if Scorpio is under your third house, so third house is the house of sharing, uh, but it is also a house of communication. And so are there themes of like communication coming up, like miscommunication? Uh, we are in Mercury retrograde. So uh, it, it Mercury is a communication planet. So you may be seeing some themes under that. Uh, but also the third house can be siblings. So are there any conflicts or any triggers happening with your siblings? Um, and then you got also like transportation as well in there so any triggers around that uh so that would be the third house if scorpio is under your fourth house this is where we're looking at home and family and so are there any themes happening about around your home life or your sense of security um do you feel currently unsafe in your environment what does your environment feel like what what is your environment trying to show you right now? What is your home trying to show you right now? And this is also where you'll find um, mother. So like if there are any triggers happening with, you know, any mother figure or your own mother in your life, like are what is being shown to you there? Get curious, get curious about your emotions and see what's being mirrored back to you. Because it's not necessarily like these triggers that are coming up in the Scorpio um, full moon eclipse. It's not just like, oh, you know, like for you to like <laughs> blame it on everybody else. No, this is for you to figure this out yourself and see what it is being shown for you and where you can grow and how you can evolve. And so then after this, we got the fifth house. So the fifth house is house of pleasure. So this is like recreation, leisure activities, um, but also children and fertility. Uh, so are there any themes around that? Are there any triggers happening there? Um, and it is also self-expression and creativity. So are you feeling certain creative blocks? Are you... You know, are there certain, are you struggling expressing yourself right now? And what is that showing you? Uh, the sixth house is the health of health. So health in itself, uh, but also routine, tasks and duties, any of those kind of themes. Uh, the seventh house is a house of balance, but also partnerships um, and contracts. So partnerships could be like romantic partnerships, love partnerships, but it can also be like business partnerships and contracts, like any big contracts are those things popping up. Like in, if a contract was broken, what is that? Like, what were you being shown there? What was the lesson? What did you learn? You know, like, or if something's coming together, but there's some triggers happening there. What are also you being shown? Um, and then the eighth house is a house of transformation. So this is death and rebirth. This is a Scorpio house. And so we're looking at like, 
literally like death and rebirth, self-transformation, um, sexual relationships as well. Scorpio is a very like sexual sign um, and also karma and debt. So looking at those themes. So for me, I'm balancing literally between the house of partnerships, like the house of balance and the house of transformation. So I'm like right in it. And it's yeah, the triggers are really not fun right now. Not fun. Um, then we got the ninth house. The ninth house is a house of purpose. So this is where you'll find travel, um, law and ethics, learning, culture, education, those themes. So are you doubting, you know, what you've learned? Like, do you feel like you've learned enough or you, uh, that you haven't learned enough? Um, do you feel for some reason that, you know, you like there's some triggers happening around traveling or those kind of themes? Uh, then we got the 10th house, which is the house of enterprise. So that is where we got the career. So any triggers around career, um, authority figures, government. Um, this is also where, so we had the mother house in the fourth house. This is a father. So father or fig father figure in your life, any triggers happening there. Then we got the 11th house, a house of blessings. So this is where you'll find friendships um communities wealth networking so any any themes like popping up around friendships are like is there certain like triggers happening there or in your community what is that showing you and how can you grow from that and then finally the 12th house is the house of sacrifice um but this is also the uncon the subconscious intuition um the dream world and so if you are being triggered in this full moon and your Scorpio is under a 12th house, check in with your subconscious. Maybe pay attention to your dreams. See what your dreams are saying. Um, go in and do some deep meditation and see what you are being shown there. It is also the house of addiction. So if there are certain themes of addictions popping up for you in this house, tap into that see what you are being shown right there um and yeah so those are the 12 houses it kind of giving you a little bit of an overview so if you are feeling really triggered if something's feeling off in this full moon and you're not sure what it is this is a great way to just kind of like open up the door and allow what's meant to come in to come in and get curious about it and see like oh what past wounds what old limiting beliefs are appearing around these themes and why am i getting triggered what what is this showing me and so then that way you can like sometimes that's how memories come up you allow the space to come up because you set that intention of okay i'm going to like you know try and figure this out and then old memories old limiting beliefs pop up and you're like well is that really true this is where it stemmed from this is why i feel this way and then that's how you can start the healing and go through that death and rebirth so you can be that rising phoenix so this is part one. Part two is going to be tomorrow. We're going to talk about, I'm going to go through the planets quickly and the themes of what each of the planets are, um, where they land. So I know there's quite a few of us that have our Pluto in Scorpio and Pluto is already in retrograde and this is a full moon in Scorpio. And so lots of lots of death and rebirth themes right there. And so combining your planets with your where they land in that, which house under which sign, then this is how you can like kind of slowly figure out themes of why you are feeling what you're feeling and why there are certain things happening either in your internal world or external world during this full moon. So if you like this video, please like, share it, or comment. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, please let me know. Um, if this is something that you find super interesting and that you want to learn more of, like I can maybe like tap into this with every full moon. We'll see what is going on. Um, but yeah, so I will let you guys go and speak to you tomorrow with the planets. Bye.